and Jessica Ann Ledford was my fiance. That is, until she was brutally raped and murdered and left lying naked in a ditch in Highland Park at the hands of Mark Anthony Osborne on May 22nd, 1999. At that time, Jessica had just graduated high school and she had a bright and promising future to look forward to. She was young, incredibly beautiful, highly intelligent, extremely creative and musically talented with a magnetic personality that was just bursting with positive energy and potential. He took our beautiful girl from us forever, but at least he would spend his life in prison. But as it turns out, that's not the case anymore. 25 years have now passed since Jessica went to live with her Heavenly Father. Mr. Osborne took her from us. During the trial, he was convicted of rape and savagely murdering Jessica. He took her life from us before her life ever truly began. It was just a few short days before her high school graduation. She never had a chance to go to college, to have a career, to get married, have children. She lost her life at the beginning. At least we knew who committed this act. We not only lived through losing her and her funeral, we lived through the original trial and so many awful testimonies that we had to listen to. I want to talk about the last 10 minutes of my sister's life and what she went through. I want to talk about being raped and the pain of that. The pain of it, to violate her when she said no, no. I want to talk about being assaulted, assaulted, stabbed, beaten, left there. That was an adult thing to do, wasn't it? A rape for somebody. Can you imagine what that had to feel like? Can you imagine the pain of that? The pain of it. I want to talk about being stabbed in the back, Mark. How much pain that had to be. The pain of it. We all fear death, and I think most of us fear dying in pain. And she died in pain. It takes three minutes to five minutes to manually strangle somebody while you're on top of them and having their hands try to get their hands off. That was the last 10 minutes of my sister's life. And he gets to go out and have a merry life, get out, get married, maybe have kids, be out of prison, and we, as a family here, are just stuck. We can't get past it. We have nightmares and dreams and, you know, every woman's nightmare. She was my only daughter, my only flesh and blood. This is what I have left of her. It is her hair that they gave me at the funeral home. Excuse me. This law should be repealed because it's letting people out that he made a conscious decision even though he was, what, a month and a half before being 18. Even the detective said he was more mature than most people his age. And I thought that was done with, and then he was be put away, and now I have to constantly live this day after day after day. Every holiday, all the memories come up. Any little thing, her music, everything. I've given away almost all of her things for the memories of other people, because I have her here. But. Someone who she called her little brother, and in reality, he wasn't. She had a dream that she was covered with scorpions, and every scorpion had his face, had Mark's face. 
And as I live in Mexico, I found out that scorpions are not like a bee. A bee stings someone, they die. A scorpion stings someone, they don't die. They can keep stinging, they can keep killing. And I believe that's what's going to happen if you release them.